Hello children and welcome back to another story time. So I'm feeling very sleepy today so I thought I'd read you three wonderful relaxing bedtime stories. The Friendly Dragon Once upon a time in a faraway kingdom there lived a friendly dragon named Silverwing. Silverwing was very different from other dragons. He didn't like to breathe fire or scare people. Instead, he loved to help others and make new friends. One day, as Silverwing was soaring through the sky, he saw a little boy who couldn't sleep. The boy was sad because he had a difficult life and his family was so poor they couldn't afford to buy him any toys to play with. Silverwing decided to help the boy by giving him a ride on his back to his dragon's treasure trove. There, Silverwing showed the boy a magical chest full of all kinds of toys. The boy was amazed. He had never seen so many wonderful creations. Silverwing and the boy had a wonderful time playing with all the toys. The boy pedaled around on a shiny red bicycle and the dragon flew colourful kites from his wings. They played with bats and balls, board games and battleships for hours and hours. After a while, the boy yawned and rubbed his eyes. It was time to go back to bed. But first, Silverwing had another surprise for the boy. He told him to choose one toy to take back home. The boy hugged the dragon and immediately reached for a caramel colored teddy bear with a bow tie. The teddy bear was as soft as a cloud and the boy hugged it tight. Silverwing flew the boy back to his bedroom and tucked him in under the blankets. He whispered to the boy that he would always be his friend and that he would visit him in his dreams. The boy smiled and closed his eyes, feeling happy and safe. From that night on, the boy slept soundly with his new teddy bear by his side and whenever he needed a friend to talk to, he knew that Silverwing, the friendly dragon, was just a dream away. Rabbit and Mole Once upon a time in a cosy burrow deep in the earth, a little bunny rabbit named Benny lived with his family. Benny loved to play outdoors, hopping from one clover patch to another and nibbling on carrot tops. One day, while exploring a new part of the meadow, he met a mole named Molly. Molly lived in a burrow underground and never saw the sun. She was shy and didn't have any friends. But when Bunny hopped up to her, she felt a warmth in her heart. Benny and Molly quickly became friends, and Benny showed her all around the meadow, taking her on adventures she had never experienced before. One day, while they were playing hide and seek, a fierce thunderstorm rolled in. Benny and Molly were scared and didn't know what to do. But then, Benny remembered a cosy rabbit hole nearby that they could hide inside. He led Molly to the hole and they snuggled together, listening to the rain pounding on the ground outside. As the storm passed, Molly realised that she didn't want to go back to her lonely underground burrow. She loved playing with Benny and feeling the sun on her fur. Benny agreed that she should come and live with his family. 
and the rabbit family welcomed Molly with open paws. From then on, Benny and Molly played together every day, making new friends and exploring the meadow. And at night, they drifted off to sleep. Benny would whisper to Molly, You're the best friend a bunny could ever have. Molly would smile and snuggle up close, feeling grateful for her new family and the love that Benny had brought into her life. And so, even on the darkest of nights, Benny and Molly always had each other. Once upon a time, in a small village far from the busy and chaotic cities, lived a little girl named Ava. She was a curious and kind girl, always interested in the world around her, whether it be tiny insects or giant old trees. At the end of every day, after hours of playing in the streams, meadows and forests around her house, she would gaze up at the starry sky, the one place she still longed to visit, and every night she would fall asleep dreaming of the star's magical wonders. One late afternoon, as she was wandering in the peaceful woods, she stumbled upon a group of animals. She saw furry rabbits, spotted deers and playful squirrels. But they all looked worried. They were gathered around a tree trunk, peering up at the dusky sky. Curious, Ava asked, What are you all looking at? Our friend, the star, has fallen from the sky and needs our help to get back up, the animals explained. Ava's heart skipped a beat. She knew she had to help them. She bravely offered to find the star's home and return it to the sky. The animals were so grateful and showed her the way. As Ava followed the animals through the forest, she realised that they were following new paths she had never seen before. As they passed through the trees and bushes, more animals peered out of the leaves to see what the young girl was going to do. Path led her to a clearing where the star lay looking pale, sad and lonely. The animals stayed at the edge of the clearing but Ava knew what she had to do. She cradled the star in her arms and began to sing a lullaby. The animals joined in and soon their voices grew stronger and the star began to sparkle, finding its light from within. The little girl held out the star towards the darkening sky and the animals beneath her began to find their rhythm. As the voices grew stronger, she lifted the star above her head and launched it into the sky. Slowly the star began to rise, reaching the tops of the trees and then beyond. Even though the animals and Ava kept up their singing, the girl was still amazed to see the star gain momentum and shoot back up into the sky. It twinkled and danced, shining brighter than ever before. The star sent a beam of light down from the sky and landed on the top of Ava's head. It whispered words of gratitude and promised that it would visit her every night, shining just for her. Ava hugged the animals and danced with the squirrels. They thanked her for helping to find the star's home, and she thanked them for giving her a magical experience she'll never forget. From then on, whenever Ava looked up, she would see the twinkling star above her, knowing that her sweet friends in the forest had made it all possible. 
Good night, children. Have sweet dreams. And I'll see you next time for another story time. Take care. Bye-bye.